Hey guys, Victor from Victor GD Photography, and this is like the third time I'm recording this intro. I don't know why it's so hard for me right now. The first two times, I didn't even have the, the microphone plugged in, so I don't know what I'm doing with my life. But, you know, I'm stuck at home, not creating right now. I'm a photographer, and I'm just getting that itch real badly. So what I decided to do is just have a photo shoot right here in my house. Luckily for me, I happen to be blessed with a beautiful wife, who for some reason doesn't like modeling for me, but every once in a while I'm able to force her to and we get some incredible images. And that's what we did today. So, I mean, if you guys are stuck at home, there's a lot of things that you are able to do just to kind of help you get out of the rut, um, shoot different things that you're not normally shooting, you know, maybe do some lifestyle images uh, or do selfies or do, you know, still life macro or whatever. Or you can keep watching all of my videos and just binge watch them all and learn whatever you can learn possibly from the videos that I post. I don't know. I, I would like it if you guys did, but you know, to each their own. So the setup here is super simple. I didn't use any strobes or any external lighting. All we did was natural window light from the window right directly behind me and uh, just shining directly onto my model itself. And this kind of gave like a little bit of a flatter image, which is what I was going for because I wanted to bring it into post and just fiddle around with Photoshop a little bit, get some dodge and burn in there, get some nice details and give it this kind of a painted glamour style look. The backdrop that I had was from capebackdrops.com. They're pretty simple uh, backdrops. They're not anything crazy. I, I do think that they make different patterns and designs that you can pay for, but this is a five by seven, nothing huge, and it was pretty cheap, and it worked exactly for what I needed it for, and I think the images came out really great. So definitely check out the video and let me know what you guys think. As you can see, like I mentioned, the light is directly right behind me. There might be a little bit of some spill light from the sides, but we kind of have the blinds closed. So I really don't consider any of that light getting onto the subject. It's just a lot of natural flat lighting that is perfect for this situation. Another great thing to always remember is to not touch your models, even if you know them very well. Uh, what I'm doing is called mirroring, where I'm actually doing the pose itself, showing her what I want her to do. And this works very good, especially for people who aren't very knowledgeable in posing, who don't model all the time. And so you can see where I'm just doing it myself and then having her just enact it as well. And then these are the poses that we get. All right, that was the video. What do you think? Um, you know, do you want me to try to force her to do more photo shoots for me? I, I think she did great, but you know, we wanted just to do something fun, something really simple, just to kind of get my creative juices going. And that's very important, especially for somebody like me who I feel like I need to create often, otherwise I start to go crazy. So, I mean, if you're like that, definitely do whatever you need to do. I, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's staying safe. We're all getting through this together. This pandemic's gonna end soon, and then we're all gonna be out there shooting again. So like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think about the video. Otherwise, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.